Swing a try! Guys, my hair is going crazy right now because my mind is blown. 36 inch Trinitron for free on Marketplace. I'll, I'll take it. Now this one right here pushes 300 pounds, so I'm waiting for my bro Dante to hop on and give me a hand. So wish us luck. Hi there. Hi. I'm here to pick up the TV. Okay. This way? Okay. All right. You got it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, thank you again. Enjoy. Yes. So when me and my bro first picked up this TV at these fine folks place, we realized it was a lot heavier than it was supposed to be. This one turned out to be a 36 inch screen monstrosity. Here's my foot for scale. And if that doesn't provide any context, here's a long box N64 and yep, the TV is bigger than it long ways. Still got this 32 inch Trinitron in the house and it hasn't traded quite yet, but I've gotten a few hundred dollar ish offers on it. But now we got this Trinitron in the room and it's only cost a man and his brother, their broken spinal cords, and a hospital visit. Now it's time for a little Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear you guys didn't know the Trinitron can push 200, 300, sometimes 400 tokens. But our goal here isn't the cash, my friends. We're gonna trade it out. We're gonna get something sick, because the last Trinitron provided us with some solid. But I'm hoping we can beat that. Guys, if you see one of these out on Facebook Marketplace for free, Super up quiz. You just don't know what, what you can get. Doing, dude. You got another Trinitron in here, another TV to fill up this room. Uh, I don't know, man. What's wrong with you? I, I don't know, man. I, this I, I need For real, what, you have a I condition? Got a problem. It might be bad, it might be good. What do you want from me? I'm sick. <sighs> Is that what you want to hear me say? Is that what you want to hear? I don't know. What do you want from me? Yo, what's up? Calm Help down me. a second, yeah, catch your breath. What's going world. on? One banger in this lot, my guy. Listen really? I'm telling you, guy, it's getting crazy over here. Hold on, let me call you back. So y'all know that I got my OLED switch trade post popped up on Marketplace. And more often than not, I'll get an offer that I just have to refuse. Because it's not quite enough for the switch itself. But, but, but you can always make a cash offer, am I right? <laughs> so I go ahead and ask the guy, how much cash to take it off your hands? And my man says 125 bucks. Yes. Which y'all know is a scoop, so what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hey, how's it going? Good. Thank you for meeting me halfway. Yeah, of course. Awesome. You want to count that yeah, out? Yeah, sure. Everything's in here? Yeah. Awesome. This is good to go. Yeah. All right, thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Back at the headquarters, met the guy up in a city called Castle Rock, which is about 45 minutes from me. So a bit of a drive, but after spending 125 bucks, I'd say it's worth it. Red off-brand controller. Red off-brand controller. A solid Sega Dreamcast. Unfortunately, my man didn't have any games. Yes. And if you know Dreamcast games, they can push a pretty penny, pop their open, and... I legitimately did not know this was in here, so that's kind of sick. A little scratched up, unfortunately, but hey, it's a freebie. Comes with the controller and two VMUs, so that's solid. A stack of random games, including some sports titles, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, two copies of Gran Turismo 3, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, and Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 for Xbox 360. Individually, these games aren't worth anything, but all together, a good old $25 smack. Now we got two copies of Simpsons Road Rage, which I found to be a bit odd until I cracked open the first disc and took a gander at it and said, that makes sense. She's destroyed! Totally understandable that my man got two copies of this one. Cause this baby right here is minty. Fiction. Now, like always, when it comes to the deals that I scoop up, I'm hoping that one item will pay for the lot. And since we paid 125 bucks, this Wii U right here can do the job. And if you look closely, this baby looks dirtier than a dingy dog. And since she's already peeling up a little bit, might as well give you guys the satisfaction and oh, rip her off. Looking prettier than a pickled peach. So a Wii U console plus the gamepad itself should net around 125 bucks, making the rest of this gravy. Yeah. Got all the cords in this bin right here, but as you can see, there's no Wii U power cord, just a Wii cord. Which begs the question, 
Did they even pop open the Wii U? Okay. Rayman Legends. Now this is disc only, but still kind of a solid hit. Nope. We got a PlayStation VR set right here, strapped up with the headset, which is its most valuable piece. Looking at the cord, it's a little frayed right there. I'm really hoping that it works. And he included one of these gun things. Now I'm not sure if these are worth some cash, but possibly. And two move controllers on top. Now I know what y'all are waiting to see. You saw it in the GoPro footage and you're wondering if it was real. Well, I'm here to tell you that the Rapper the Rapper is back! Baby. Looks to be in excellent condition, save for the crack on the case, but that's replaceable. Pop her open and we got the disc in check and it's looking excellent. pretty good. Now take a look at this manual right here. What's going on? Not entirely sure if this is supposed to have more contents in it. Comment down below, let me know. Nevertheless, this game right here has shot up in value. It's sitting at 125, 150 bucks. Biggest grail piece in the lot. And if you guys haven't even played this game yet, I highly recommend it. I used to jam through this baby on the ps1 a long time ago so definitely a solid piece and a banging way to cap off a bonker deal really sick to see a failed trade offer turn into a solid pickup close the deal hey how's it going go ahead check it out sure yeah and you're good awesome so our stuff is back here. Take a look, two PS2s, PS4 games. Everything's in this bin right here? Yep. I just put everything in this. Awesome. Yep. All right, man. Take it easy. Enjoy the Xbox. Let me know if you have any issues, okay? So hits me up, says he wants a Series S. Now he's got a bunch of games in a bin. Now is it gonna be worth it? Well, let's find out. Oh! An original toaster NES console strapped up with two controllers and the zapper. Now is this bad boy gonna work? Probably oh. not. It's gonna need a new 72 pin connector guarantee. Yep. Cinco games right here, Mario Duck Hunt. Mario Bros 3, Wright Bros, unfortunately. Oops. Mark Rider. And y'all know I'm a Zelda fan, so this is what got me going on this lot right here. The original Legend of Zelda for the NES system right here, baby. Now when he sent over photos, I actually saw this and I was like, that's kind of sick. Cause you really only see the gold carts of this bad boy right here. Case in point, the adventure of Link. Gold card Zelda 2, really sick to get the dynamic duo in one hit. Sega Dreamcast console looking yellower than this banana right here. Which is a little nasty. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't work. He said there was no games, but I popped it open and we got Sonic Adventure. <laughs> which is a $25, $30 disc alone. And I believe it's actually a pretty sick game on the Sega Dreamcast. Two controllers, one VMU popped in there, which is a plus. Now I spent 150 bucks on that Series S, so I needed something to pay for the lot. So of course seeing a PS4 Slim in the bundle made me jump on it quick. But upon further examination, it doesn't look to be in the best condition. As you can see, there's the plate that covers the hard drive missing. For real, there's definitely money to be made here, but it isn't the best trade I've done. But it is a bit more of an accurate depiction of what the common offer is gonna be for your Xbox Series as trade posts. Two PS2 fatties, one dusty as dunk and one not as much, and a controller here that, well, looks like it's just given up. Quick cut in right here. I'm currently testing the PS2. I pop open the slot and check out the game that's in there. That's a $50 hitter, baby. Five PS2 games, nothing too special. Extreme G Racing. SSX, a solid game if you haven't played it before. I recommend it. Gran Turismo 3A Spec. Overall, not too bad. A couple dollars in my pocket and a few Zeldas to keep me warm. And I can do better. What do you think? What? Yes, the last Series S trade was solid. Profit's gonna be made. I am happy. But another offer just came through that's got me reeling. <laughs> Only thing is, we need another Series S, so let's get one. <laughs> Hey, Ari. What's up? Okay, so, so yeah, this is my brother's. Um, okay. He's trying to build a PC. Hey. Uh, controllers, and there, HDMI, and cords. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. I forgot to ask. You guys have any other old video games? <laughs> yeah. I have a lot. I have an Xbox 360 with every single Call of Duty on it. I also have a virtual Xbox. I'm not for that. Though. Do you have any games for it? Yeah, it's fine. I can go grab it. For sure. Yeah, I'll check out what games you got. 
basically everything with it. So these are all the games I have for it. Okay. And, okay. and how much would you be asking for this lot right here? I have no idea what you would want to take that for. There's Something one on here with two games, one controller for 60, and that one has how many games? If you want to think about it, like, I, no pressure. I don't want to yeah, yeah, take yeah, this yeah. from you. I already got some I really like right here. We can yeah. think about it, I guess, yeah. if that's what you, you want to think about it? Yeah, I, I understand. Mean. Yeah, think about it, and uh, if you do plan on selling it, pop it on your marketplace, and I'll hit you up. Uh, you awesome, yeah. okay. Okay, thank you again. I appreciate this. <laughs>50 to 100 cash, no one but two N64 consoles, and I'm cracking open the expansion slots, and I see an expansion pack, which is just sick. And well, look at the games, guys. NFL Blitz, Rainbow Six, GoldenEye, Mario Kart 64, and the Big Banger Mega Man 64. <laughs> Still sitting above $50 cash, mega, mega cool. cool. Lots of controllers were also added into this lot, but look at the joysticks on these. Wow. If anyone knows a good repair for the toggles on N64 controllers, let me know down below. But we got the big Duke Xbox controller in here, which matches perfectly with the Xbox system. Now, unfortunately, the front of this is a little broken, but I actually tested this baby and it works fantastic. Nice little Sega Dreamcast with two controllers. I think I've gotten this same exact bundle five times this month so far. It just keeps coming around. Solid couple stacks of loose Super Nintendo games. Main hitters being Donkey Kong Country, Wario's Woods, can't go wrong with a Wario game. <laughs> Super Mario All Stars. And finally, Fire, Fire Dogs. Dogs. A Ren and Stimpy hitter. 250, 200, nope, 175. So how much I paid for the Series S that captured this beautiful lot. God, come in here like a bullet train. What do you want? You gotta do a giveaway. Yeah? Why not? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking you got a couple N64s right there. Wouldn't be too much trouble to give one of them away and toss in Mario Kart while we're at it. That's not a bad idea, actually. Well, what are the rules? Super simple. Last game they played, how good was it? I like it. I'll bang an N64 lot, and don't you worry, I'll pull out a couple clean controllers for it. And all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and let me know the last game you played and what rating you'd give it. Zero out of five. Zero meaning that what was in the toilet this morning was better. And five meaning you loved every second of it, played all the way through, completed it, and when it finally finished, you got depressed because the game was over and you sat in a room in silence for over a week, went to therapy because you were emotionally dis- <sighs> Mine was Ghost of Tsushima, and I give it a five. five. That's, That's great. great. 
a solid little stack of PS2 games and a PS1 Final Fantasy 7. And I cracked it open and check this bonus out, baby. Sonic Adventure, and if you look a little closer, it's a not for resale. Which actually doesn't change the price that much. Still worth $30 to $50. Loop in the third. I did not know this game pushed Whoa. that much cash, so it's a solid hitter. Illusion guy that may need a little bit. We get in four. I just keep coming across we get in titles. I don't know why. And look at this game right here. Armored Core 3. Do you see the comps on this baddie? Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the case, which is weird considering it has the manual and the disc in check. So a nice little lot right there. An NES toaster, which I actually tested and works fantastically. Comes with two controllers and three games. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Boulder Dash. A JVC game? Tetris. Cool retro radness right there. Now, the rest of this stuff right here was not included in the trade. These guys pull up, pop open their trunk and said, hey, look what else we found. We're just gonna toss it in. So as you can imagine, I was really happy to see this. One PSP and it's a little scratched up. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a battery, so I can't test Dang it. But a bunch of games were added into this lot. And these four right here are gonna be your gems. Star Ocean Second Evolution. First Departure. Metal Gear Solid Beast Walker. And finally, Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. These four games right here alone are gonna be valued at about 100 bucks. Good old wrestling game was added. Finally, an absolutely beautiful condition. Nintendo 3DS. And when I say beautiful, I mean it. Works fantastically. Sound is booming. And one more beautiful thing to cap off this lot. We got Kirby Triple Deluxe. Which will pair absolutely beautiful with this 3DS and bring home a mountain of happiness. Love a good giveaway and I'm really excited to hear about what you guys have played recently. See ya.